Problems for Uber keep stacking up. The lawyer for the ride service company, which has been sued by drivers who contend they should be considered employees and are seeking class action status. Well, he said that it will be preferable to have just trials on the three drivers who filed the complaint in order to avoid setting a risky precedent. The drivers who filed suit in federal court in San Francisco claim they are entitled to reimbursement for expenses, including gas and vehicle maintenance that they currently pay on their pocket. They get paid every week out of the rides, but they have to keep up, you know, mm -hmm. insurance, gas, car maintenance, their own health insurance. Now, recently in June, the California Labor Commission ruled that an Uber driver should be considered an employee and not a contractor. Now, we have this federal suit. If it becomes a class action suit, then we really have a problem with all the sharing economy. Many of these apps rely on contractors that do the actual work to create this new service that is disruptive and yes, is needed in this economy, but where are the workers right in a, a scenario like this? Um, where are the workers right? So these workers, they have the right to work, they're at will, um, they have the right to collect a paycheck from Uber. You know, they signed up for these terms when they began working for Uber. Just because Uber is this multi-billion dollar company doesn't mean that they owe people. You know, it doesn't make them the bad guy here. And $25 an hour on average, that's not a bad job. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to have a prior skill set, just a license. I don't know of any other job other than maybe plumbing that pays that without a I mean, this isn't a bad gig. So what? They don't. They don't want to. They don't want to offer all of these entitlements. I mean, they they couldn't do that and probably sustain the way that their structure is. That's I mean, question. as you said, forty billion dollars is the net worth of Uber right now. They operate in fifty-seven countries, and they've been received with different success in different places. Like in Mexico right now, they have a big problem in Mexico City, especially in the surrounding areas of the airport, because the taxi drivers feel that it's unfair for them to enter this market without, <laughs> without, like you said, without certification, without the license needed to be a driver, a, a taxi driver in the airport. So they are facing violence. You know, people is actually attacking the cars, attacking the drivers, and that's one end of the spectrum. But here in California, we see that there are some drivers that say, you know what, I work more than 40 hours a week mm -hmm. driving this car. If something happens to me, then I can't make it that income anymore. But for you, you have a, this revolving door of drivers that you can just benefit from. So and they ups, should be more entitled. In I mean, do you mean like workers' comp? Yes, that and that's, that's exactly what they're looking. They're looking for workers' comp, social security, and uh, unemployment insurance. That's what the mm -hmm. SUE is looking for. And you know, some will say that it's necessary for these workers to be protected in case something happens to them. Some will we'll say that this is part of the insurance. disruption. This is part of the Nothing disruption of the market. Nothing is stopping these workers from buying private insurance on themselves. But demanding a, a company do it when there's an agreement that you're a contractor, um, you know, that violates the terms of their, their original work agreement. Uber is not responsible for doing that. And I'm not defending this major, massive Corporation no, here. and I think the discussion goes beyond Uber. I think it goes to this new uh, shared economy because we see that it's Uber and then there's delivery uh, services like Postmates and others that function on the same model. But you know? maybe they are sharing the economy by employing so many people in you know cities across the world. Arguably, might they might be not only sharing the economy but creating an aspect of the economy as well. So that's the important part of this this process, this legal process, is the fact that if this becomes a class action suit, then the president, if they lose, will affect the whole industry and all this sharing economy. It might even take precedence on even you know Airbnb, Airbnb. Other type of services that rely on unregulated business deals. So we want to see what is going to happen. We're going to keep you informed if this becomes a class action suit. If you're an Uber driver, you have some experiences with it, let us know in the comments how you feel about the situation. You feel that you should be taken uh, in account as an employee or the current deal is correct. Let us know and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.